in this video i'm going to share with you how you're going to be able to install android 13 developer preview one on your devices so this OS is actually compatible with google pixel 4 4xl apples 4a 4a 5g 5 5a and then 6 and then 6 pro so android 13 is actually going to be compatible with 3a and 3a xl but the developer preview didn't support google pixel 3a and 3a xl at the moment but um, we were actually known that Google Pixel 3 and 3a XL ended their OS support on Android 12. So we know 3a and 3a XL are actually going to support 13. So if in case maybe you are wondering, your phone is actually not going to support in case you are using a 3a and 3a XL, just hold it up there. It's just the developer preview which your phone is not supporting at the moment. But what Google actually told us is this developer preview might be dangerous for your smartphones in case maybe your phone is the phone you use on a daily basis you don't have to install this developer preview and i'll urge you not to install it because the os might have bugs and then also might heat up your phone and all i quite remember the android 12 developer had problems like that with my google pixel 3 xl but now i've installed it on my google pixel 6 and i'm actually going to show you the steps i used in order for you to install in case you are curious and you want to know how to install it and then you also want to try it on your device but you should have a spare phone because it's going to wipe everything off your phone that is what you have to know before you start anything so i'm going to show you on my phone what you need to do first and also go on my laptop the necessary steps you need to do and then it's going to help you just to install your android 13 developer preview one which is named tiramisu and let's check it out so let's hop onto the phone and also hop onto the laptop fasten your seatbelts and let's check this thing out so first before you connect your phone to your pc and then you start doing any necessary things you need to do what you need to do is you need to go to your settings and then you activate developer settings on your phone so you go to your about of your phone and then you scroll down and then you tap on the build number till you see your device telling you you are now a developer and then you just scroll and then go to your system and then you scroll down and you're going to see this option right here so when you see this options right here you tap on it and then you scroll down to just turn this one on oem unlocking you turn it on right here because i've already activated it and then installed android 13 on this device so this is locked and then you scroll down to usb debugging and then you turn this one also on and put it on okay and then you are going to be good with the settings on your phone so afterwards you connect this device to your laptop and then you do the necessary steps which i'm going to show you in the next step so this is actually the page you are going to go which i'm going to leave the link in my description and then after clicking on it you're going to come to this page and then you're going to see get started right here you can choose to read whatever you feel like you want to read and then see the times which the os is actually going to be released so this is actually going to be the second developer preview and then beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 and then onwards to the final release and that is basically very cool so you're going to tap on this section get started to just go to the next page where we are going to proceed to do the necessary things and then we scroll down to see the phones that are supported at the moment so we have 4 and 4 xl 4a 4a 5g like i said and then also we are going to tap on this section which is the ideal recommended way google actually told us and by doing this it's actually going to wipe your device like i said it's going to wipe your device so if you don't know yet just back up anything in case maybe you are done with everything you input your email and everything your stuffs are going to come back to your phone so that is basically very cool and like i showed you on your phone if you don't do the necessary things i showed you on my phone initially whatever you're going to do right away whilst we are recording this it's not going to work so you tap on allow and then you are going to see that nothing showed right here so in case maybe your phone doesn't pop up right here you try to unlock your phone and then see whether it's going to pop up in case it doesn't still pop up what you need to do is you scroll down here and then you tap on our device and then you are going to see right here so i'm using a google pixel 6 and then you tap on this side and then you tap on connect and it's going to connect your device you tap on allow on your phone which is a pop-up that is going to come on your phone you tap on allow and then you are going to see your device is selected right here you can see your pixel 6 is connected and it's going to load whatever it's supposed to load and after it's done loading the android 13 preview you're going to see it right here and then you can install the build right here and that is basically very cool so when you tap on install the build it's actually going to do the necessary things and you don't need to touch your phone unless the instruction is being given on the device right here on your laptop and then before you are supposed to touch the device and then do anything other than that it might crash your phone or mess the phone up so you don't need to touch it anything that the f you're supposed to do on the phone is actually going to pop up on the laptop so you take note of whatever you are going to do on the laptop and then just 
follow the steps and everything is going to get through so once it's done the phone will restart itself whilst the installation is ongoing and you are good so let me know in the comment section in case maybe you didn't get anything right and i've already made a video on the new features on the developer preview so in case you want to know you can check out the video in the description or this video on the screen right here and you're going to know more about it subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss more tech videos and then app reviews and anything in between tech and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace